Reaction to the completion of the Mueller report was swift. The Justice Department notified top congressional leaders from both parties that it had received the report from special counsel Robert Mueller, and many, including all eight Democrats in Congress who are running for the president, called for the report to be made public. Ed O'Keefe is on Capitol Hill with the very latest. Ed, good morning. Good morning, Michelle. When Washington's most anticipated moment in recent memory actually happened, Almost nobody was up here on Capitol Hill. Congress is on recess, but that didn't stop members of both parties from calling for the report's full release. That report needs to be made public. The Democratic race for president quickly became a campaign to make the Mueller report public. Nobody, including the president of the United States, is above the law. The American people have a right to know. Competing candidates found common ground in calling for the release of the unredacted report. We are owed the facts, and if we do not receive them 243 years in, there's nothing that guarantees us a 244th. Despite the news there will be no new indictments, Beto O'Rourke did not back off his call to impeach the president. Those are grounds enough for members of the House to bring up uh, the issue of impeachment. But Democratic leaders in Congress aren't yet ready to go there. I'm not going to draw any conclusions until we see not only the whole report, but the underlying findings and documentation. Democrats said they're prepared to subpoena the report and suggested the special counsel should testify. I think it would be very valuable to the American people to have Mr. Mueller come before the Judiciary Committee in public and walk the country through the report. While President Trump's 2016 campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski, said Democrats now owe the president an apology. This witch hunt is finally over. 675 days, one year, 10 months, and six days, $40 million of taxpayer money wasted. Like Lewandowski, other Republicans called for the report's release, but argued Democrats need to accept the results. To not accept those findings will be really traumatic for the American people. Important to point out the House voted unanimously, all Democrats and all Republicans to call on the Justice Department to release that Mueller report in full. They took that vote before their recess. Some Democrats cite a special counsel investigation that was held in the early 1990s after that Branch Davidian compound raid in Texas as a reason for the full release of the Mueller report because that Branch Davidian report had been released. We should know more within hours about how much we might actually learn from the Attorney General. Anthony? Ed O'Keefe, thanks, Ed.